open the driver's side door now right there that's the primary hood release lever pull it now in front of the vehicle right on top of the emblem there that's the secondary hood release lever so lift up the hood with one hand and then you gotta put one finger in there push it up and the hood opens up you need a prop rod to secure it in place get the prop rod out and put it in the slot with the arrow marking it over there once it's in there let go off of it and now it's secure in place now once the hood is open there are four different fluids to check that's the coolant over there the engine oil then we have the windshield washer fluid and the brake fluid now if you're wondering where is the transmission fluid the transmission on this car is sealed so there's no fluid to check no dipstick to check also this has electric power steering so no power steering fluid no hydraulic lines none of that stuff it has electric motor for the power steering for now let's get started with the coolant now if you look at the container the reservoir there's two levels on it the lower level is the minimum one and the upper level is maximum right there you should only be checking it when the car has been sitting for two three hours which means the engine's cold never check it when it's hot because it's going to give you a wrong reading so if you can't see it clearly just try to slosh the fluid around by moving the, the container now if you do have to add it you have to open up that cap but never open up that cap when the car is hot because the fluid over there is under pressure and if you open it it's just gonna spray out it's gonna cause burns and serious burns so definitely never open when the engine is hot all right make sure the car's been sitting for two three hours before you open that cap again as you see it takes a few turns of the cap to take it off uh, so just be patient with it once you get the cap out, it's simple. Just add the fluid in there. Keep an eye on the level as you're filling it. And that's it. Once you're done filling it up, make sure you put it back in correctly. Right? Make sure it's sitting well. Tighten it down all the way. And as far as what fluid goes in there, you can use the Volkswagen original fluid. Or you can just get it antifreeze cool in the 50-50 mix. Something like this that says all makes and models. This is a type of coolant fluid that is compatible with all different colors. It even says it over here on the back. Fluid color compatible with all different colors. Also remember that this is a chemical. This is not water. So just make sure that kids don't get close to it. Animals don't get close to it. And this is a 50-50 mix. You don't have to add any water. Next up is the brake fluid over there. Right? You got to sort of get between the battery and the hose there. There's a lower line that's for the minimum level and the upper line is for the maximum. This is kind of hard to see when the sunlight but yeah, let's get close there. Yep, maximum level is up there. Minimum is the solid line over there. Yep, that's the one. You see that? If you don't see the fluid in the game, just grab the container and just sort of wiggle it around. You'll see the fluid inside slosh around and you'll get a better idea. Now, you shouldn't have to top up the brake fluid. But if you do have to for any reason, use DOT4 fluid only. It says it right there on it. DOT4 brake fluid. So open up the cap, put the fluid in there and close the cap right away. Brake fluid is hygroscopic. Hygroscopic means it sucks out all the moisture from the air. And you don't want brake fluid and moisture to mix together. Also, if you have to top up brake fluid regularly, there's a leak somewhere in the system. So definitely get the car checked out. Open right there, the blue cap. That's where the eventual washer fluid goes. See that tube? That's where you see the fluid level rise. And you open up the blue cap and that's where the fluid goes into now you can take off the screen filter if you want or you can leave it in it's up to you i would just leave it in there get windshield washer fluid don't just get water because windshield washer fluid even in summer windshield washer fluid comes with chemicals that helps clean the windshield better uh, but remember it's chemical it's not just water so be careful don't let kids near it and again as you can see most of these bottles they come with like a safety cap so either you have to press it down and then twist it or squeeze it from the side and twist it they also have a seal on the top. Take the seal off completely. You get the cap off. Hold the bottle the way I'm holding over here. So that way you have more control over the flow. And start pouring the fluid in there. Once you see the fluid rise all the way to the top. Then you can stop. Yep. Just like that. That's looking good. Now let's go ahead and close that up. Let's not forget to put the cap back on the eventual washer fluid bottle. And that's pretty much it. Right there, the yellow dipstick, that's for the engine oil. And the black cap over there, that's where you fill up the engine oil from. The sticker over there clearly states what oil you need. It's 0W20. Only put 0W20 if you need to add more oil. So pull the dipstick out. And we're just going to wipe it clean and then take a closer look at it. Right there, there's two marks. The left side mark is minimum. The right side is maximum. The oil level has to be between minimum and maximum. If the oil level is below minimum, that means that engine doesn't have enough oil. And that's not good. It's going to cause a lot of issues. If the oil is way above maximum, that's going to cause a different set of issues. 
issues and you don't want either of that so make sure the oil level is between minimum and maximum for now we're going to put the depth check back in all the way and then we're going to pull it out and get a fresh reading right there now this oil level is between minimum and maximum as you can see it's between those two notches and that's good if we had to add oil then to go from minimum level to maximum level it takes about one quart of oil for now we're good so we're just going to wipe this dip check clean now when you're putting it in just make sure that that hole for the finger hole on the dip check it's sort of pointing outward just makes it easier for the next time around just like that and that's pretty much it in order to take it off you gotta first push the hood get the rod out of there put it back in its place lower the hood and then just slam it shut 